Hi guys, it's every day I will show you guys the best decks for Arena 11 and Arena 12 in Clash Royale. So, first, we have our Arena 11 deck. But if you guys are here for the Arena 12 deck, I recommend you guys skip this part and going to the timestamp that I show right now on the screen. So, with the timestamp, you should immediately watch the Arena 12 part of the video. So anyways, back to the Arena 11 deck with the Electro Fat Guy right here. In Arena 11, you unlock this monster. Electro Fat Guy is the strongest card in Clash Royale right now because it offers so much value. Usually, when your opponent defends like a giant, they have a counter attack. But when they defend an Electro Fat Guy, the counter attack just gone because the Zap counter attack mechanic from the Electro Fat Guy just shred every single troop. No troop can bypass the Electro Fat Guy counter attack unless it is a P.E.K.K.A. And because of that, we have the Witch to counter every single P.E.K.K.A. in existence. We also have the Mega Minion and the Baby Dragon for ultimate air defense to defend all of the pesky balloons. Same thing with the Dark Prince to defend all of those sneaky sneaky goblin battles and lightning to destroy all of those annoying buildings. So anyways, let's go into some matches to dominate people with this best Arena 11 deck. Okay guys, now we're facing this guy level 10. Luckily for us, we have our Electro Fat guy on hand. And that's Emi. Okay, never mind. This guy is more rushing than me. I don't know why you're doing a Princess No Bridge. That's kinda stoop. Now we can go Fat Minion on the bridge. Fat Minion is low-key insane because it deals a lot of DPS. Now we can go Electro Fat Guy right here. See guys, the Electro Fat Guy and the Fat Minion just shred the thing. And that's why the both fat people work. Okay, now I need to wait the perfect opportunity to zap the Inferno to get the maximum value as possible. See guys, the Electro Fat Guy deals so, so, so much damage. Now we can go Goblin Kids right here. Let's go with Black Prince. Boom. Black Prince absolutely shred. Shred the Goblin Battle. See guys, you need to use Black Prince. If we have problem against Goblin Battle, put a Black Prince. Okay, this guy haven't learned his lesson. He still wanna rush with princesses on the bridge. Now let's go an Electro Fat Guy right here. Boom. Electro Fat Guy freaking shred. I said shred the Dark Goblin at the night. The tower is dead and the Inferno is also dead. Double value right there. That is crazy. Electro Fat Guy needs a hard nerf. It is the strongest card in Clash Royale right now. And it is unbelievable broken. Goblin Battle. Okay, never mind. This guy wanna rush with that thing. Let's do a fat guy right here. Boom. Fat guy, let's go. Yeah, the fat guy. It doing freaking work. Okay, now we just need to our perfect opportunity. That we can zap that. Boom. Fat guy just shred the inferno. Okay. I don't even care. Just take my left tower because I would I would two crown you. Yeah. Guys, we want to crown him. I don't even care if he take my tower. Now we can go Black Prince right here. Black Prince doing work. Kill the Dark Goblin with the knight. Wow. Black Prince, you're a savior. Let's just rush right here on the pocket because why not? Boom. The Fat Knight will not defend the Electro Fat guy. See guys, the Fat Knight is crazy. Now we can zap all of this nonsense. Boom. Wow. He literally got wrecked. This deck is so, so good. Now we need to prepare for a fat guy and a fat minion. Let's do this. Boom, boom. The fat guy is insane. Okay. That is a definitely weird position of an inferno tower. But do I even care? Because his tower is literally got wrecked. Now I just need a lightning. And it's basically game over. 3, 2, 1, and boom! Lightning show off. His hopes and dreams are gone immediately. So anyways, let's proceed to our Arena 12 best deck. Okay guys, now this is our Arena 12 best deck. P.K. is really really good because of the Electro Fat Guy meta. If we haven't seen the Arena 11 part yet, the Electro Fat Guy is one of the strongest cards in Clash Royale. 
and is unlocked in Arena 11. So most people on Arena 12 have just unlocked it and will most likely play it. And that's why you have the fat robot metal guy called the P.K. to shred the electro fat guy. You also have the balloon to sneakily pass your opponent defense and destroy the tower. Especially when the P.K. is tanking, the balloon can be insane. You have the executioner or the extrower to shred witch because on my other deck there are witch on electro giant and most people will actually do that because witch counters P.K.K.A and P.K.K.A counter electro fat guy and that's why you have the executioner to destroy all of the witch that is used right here dark prince obviously for defending the pesky goblin barrels skeleton army for defending the hawk riders giants and more and bats obviously for the air defense so anyways let's go into some matches right here to dominate people with this best arena 12 deck type of bowler what will you use okay you're freaking elixir golem and bowler what is this what is this trash okay now we can go pekka right here I can go bad side here because the bowler will not splash for the bats because the bats are an air unit. I'm literally infinite IQ right here. Now the executioner will wreck the inferno dragon right there. Now we have our Pekka tanking. Let's go a balloon right here. Now he cannot defend this push. Even with the inferno, you cannot defend this monster. Why? Because the Pekka shred the inferno. The executioner wreck you, and then my executioner connect. Boom! That's so much damage right there. Okay. This guy has not learned his lesson. He keeps rushing. Well then, now the Dark Prince will shred the firecracker, and now we can go a uh, skeleton army to so absolutely shred the thing, the elixir golem. Okay, now I can go P.E.K.K.A right here. Boom! The P.E.K.K.A literally get track all of those things. Now we can do bats right here. Boom! Okay, let's zap all of this stuff because it's so annoying. The batsman. Wow, the infernos literally wreck everything. But still, my executioner do on. By the way. Okay, this guy is literally rushing all day, every day, 24-7. I don't know you wanna... I don't know why the freak wanna do that, but, well, I guess it's good for me, right? Because you're losing, haha. Now we can go P.E.K.K.A right here, boom. Settle up a big push, let's go. Okay, there's your Inferno, haha. Now we can go back right here for tanking the Inferno, boom. Now we can do this with this, since just wasted all of his stuff. Boom. Now he has nothing for the balloon. Yes. Okay, I guess this is the Inferno. But now I can zap this, and the Inferno will literally get track. Let's go skeleton army right here. Boom. My Executioner connect. That's so much damage. Now we can go Executioner right here. Let's fireball all of this nonsense. Boom. Wow. He's dead, man. He's freaking dead. Let's do this, with this, boom, he's dead, man. The Inferno got wrecked, everything literally got wrecked. His Elixir Golem absolutely got wrecked. Let's do a balloon right here, boom. Wow, he showed that, man. Let's go P.E.K.K.A right here. Let's zap all of this nonsense, yeah. Balloon connect, let's go. Let's fireball all of this. We can slowly spell cycle him out, okay? We just need one more fireball, and it's game over for him. Boom. Now I can go skeleton army right here. Let's go. Okay. Now we can go Dark Prince. Let's zap this. And we can fireball that. And it's game over. GG. Wow. Our deck is so good. We have the perfect defense for everything. With the over... We have the perfect defense for everything. With the overpowered executioner P.E.K.K.A combo. Anyways, guys. If you watched till this part. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Anyways, bye.